Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at PowerPoint and how to create a mind map. Now I'm aware that if you go to insert and add-ons, you can get additional third-party add-ons that will allow you to create a mind map. But in this video, it's gonna focus on using the tools that we've got available within PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint for Mac, so it's version 16.7 for Mac, so it's Office 365. If you're using a PC, you should have the same features. It may just look slightly different in the appearance and menus. So first off, what I'd like to suggest you do is just go to the design tab, go to slide size, go to page setup and just alter it from what it will be as probably as widescreen or on screen show to A3 paper. Especially if you're looking to output it, it makes it easier to print it. So I've set that okay. Next thing we're going to do is going to use the, the shapes feature to add the components of our mind map. I like to use the circle. If you hold the shift key whilst you do it, it means you get a true circle and then what you've got is you've got various formats so you've got theme styles that you can apply so it's a quick and easy way to get a particular look and feel to your mind map so I'm going to go with that one I always like to just make the no outline around the edge and then you can double click on it to add some text and you can select the text and format that as you choose. We're gonna make it slightly smaller. I'll make it appear slightly lower down. You may then want to make use of the icons. So if we go insert an icon, and these are generally only available on the later versions of PowerPoint, we can pick an icon. So let's say we're gonna do something on time so we can add a clock and we can position that in place and we can make that white using the fill graphics. So we've now got that ready. We can then simply copy that shape and paste it. We can get rid of the text if we don't want it. Maybe make it slightly smaller again, holding the shift key so it keeps it as a true circle. And then if we right click on that and go to format shape, we can alter the opacity. So I'm gonna make that slightly lighter I'm going to copy and paste that again and this time I'm going to reduce the size of it again oh. making sure to hold the shift key so we've got our center one there and again we can then double click in that I'm just going to put number one in there so we've got one and that's going to be one of our center elements so we're going to drag and select so we get all of the components. I'm going to copy and paste that, move that round to the other side. We'll make that number two. And then we go back to the home tab and we can just use the shape film to change the color of the two circles. And do the same thing again copy those. Now the reason I'm not grouping them at this point is because I want to be able to change the colors. So we'll go to shape fill. There we go and we'll just make that number three. I'll we'll make it slightly smaller. Let's reduce the size of the text so it fits in. And Final one, we'll copy that and paste it. So we've got our four main subject divisions. I'll change the color of that one final time. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just copy the center element and paste it. We'll return the opacity to 100%. to zero even to make it so it's 100% dark and then we can just copy and paste that and what I like to do is if you format the, the text that the size you want it so 12 point is fine and then as you copy and paste it it'll be the right size and you can also if you want work out where you want it with the alignment as well so you, at the moment it's centered which I, I think generally works best so you can then just very simply copy and paste 
and move those elements as you want them copy and paste again and move it to where you want it having got say four if you click on one hold the shift key click on the rest of them so you've got them all selected you can copy and paste and then you can move them change the color and reposition them as you see fit and we can do the same thing again so I'll do paste again pick them up move them to where I want them go up to the shape fill change the color uh, and then just individually move them into into place And a final time, so we'll just select these ones now, copy and paste, and move them into situ. Again, use the shape fill to change the color. So we've now got our components, I'm just going to rearrange them slightly. these ones now that we've got them formatted as we want I'm just going to group them together so it's easier to, to move them around let's move those around so we, we're almost where we want to be the next thing we're going to do is add our joining lines so we go back to the insert menu we click on insert shape and you'll see that we've got in the lines section we've got various connectors so we've got elbow connector all the way along to curved connector so we're just going to go with let's go with the double arrowed curved connector and then you see as soon as you roll one edge over a shape it brings up various spots and we can just click on that and connect it to another spot and then we can either insert more or I find it's just easier to copy and paste you can drag them into position and you can move by clicking on the green bit to, to where you want them to be and again we can just keep doing that again you can move just clicking on the green bit to move it where you want it to, to, to be if you wanted to oh that was moved you can also change the color so the easy way to do that is using the format box here so we can make the lines related to that section the same color as the same color as the mind modules so there you go so you could do that with all of them copying and pasting adding all of the components together I'll just copy that one and you could add that to the various spots as you go so that's how you can build up and you could keep going around adding all of those connectors as you see fit. One thing that I've seen other people try is adding images to your category. So instead of having section one, section two, section three, they use images. So to do that, if you select your shape, if you right click on your shape and go to format shape, you'll find that this menu appears here on the right hand side. And then if you choose picture or texture fill it will add the texture that was last used or you can go to insert and you can browse your desktop and use one of the pictures that you've got on there and again so if I click on this one if I just click in, in insert it's going to add the same picture if I come down and go to insert I can choose a different picture and that's just a nice way of changing the appearance you can then get rid of the the text on that and there you are a very simple way to create a mind map using PowerPoint so I hope you found the video useful if you did remember to give it a like share the video and join me again soon for more EdTech videos thanks for watching